Hello and thanks for joining us. This is TVC News at 4. A federal high court in Abuja has ordered the Attorney General of the Federation to reopen investigation and prosecution of those who murdered the founder of Newswatch magazine, Deligiwa, in 1986. Delivering judgment, Justice Iyangeko held that a chief law officer of the Federation is under obligation to prosecute and penalize killers of media practitioners in the country. Apart from Deligiwa, the court ordered that the killings of other journalists in the discharge of their lawful duties must be investigated and perpetrators brought to book in line with the provisions of the law. The incorporated trustees of media rights agenda had dragged the AGF before the court for the enforcement of the fundamental rights of media practitioners to safety as guaranteed by the 1999 Constitution and African Charters on Human Rights. Now for more on the court's decision to reopen prosecution of Dele Giwa's killers, digital gender and media rights lawyer Mojirai Ogunlano joins me on the news. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much. It's, it's nice to be here too. Thank you. Um, I, I see you're smiling. How significant, you seem to be pleased by this particular um, judgment. How significant is this judgment? Okay, so there is, a, it, how do I start? Because I'm, I'm super excited. So there is this trend that has been on for a while in Nigeria, and more so even after the, um, you know, the return to democracy. Um, journalists have been, to me, I see them as a very endangered species, because um, every time you see them go on the field, you hear things about harassment, you hear things about arrest, and um, even unlawful intercession of their communications. Journalists go through a lot of violations. And the worst part of it uh, is the issue of the violence that they really go through. For instance, if you consider the issue of NSAS, the kind of um, atrocities that some journalists even encountered at the anniversary of the NSAS um, um, uh, event. So there is that disrespect for journalists. So I believe that it is the, the disrespect that um, comes from the government that the society sees and then they begin to um, act it out. So when you have a government where a journalist is killed, for instance, someone as um, um, as renowned like Dele Giwa, and no prosecution, and the case is just a lying fallow, nothing about that case. We don't hear anything about the case, about whether there is, there is an investigation going on. And so we have seen proud of people like that, Bolade, um, Fashasi, and all of that. The, these journalists were there, even their, uh, doing what they defend clients. I don't believe that I'm going there and I should be killed on the field. It doesn't make any sense. This is what you know. This is what journalists do. They they give their time. They give their expertise. They give all that they have, and they lay it out lay it out there on the field. But unfortunately, we see situations where they are killed. We see issues where they even go through um, maybe um, societal discrimination or societal um, ganging gang ups from society. So this is wrong. So I believe that the significance of this judgment is that there should be a, you know, the, 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 the AGF now is being compelled to take, um, to understand the importance of the fourth estate of the realm, which is the, the media. They are, they, 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 without them, the civic space cannot be thrived, you know, cannot be healthy, cannot thrive. So we but, but let me ask you, Mojirayo, because um, this is a judgment, um, whether